breeding season is now in full swing, so I'm gonna make sure all the equipments are ready to go. The nest boxes I've been using up until now were designed and built two seasons ago. They got the job done, but I found them inconvenient at times. Because the thermostat controlling the nest boxes sit outside of the enclosure, things had to be fed through a small hole from the back of the enclosure, and that meant that the nest boxes can't be removed without taking it all apart. This new nest box design will have all the components built within the nest box itself, so that it is fully self-contained. The brain of the nest box will live within this plastic casing that I designed and printed myself. It is printed out of PETG plastic, so it's strong and waterproof. I also printed a template to mark the holes that I'll be drilling. To attach the casing to the tub, I've melted these brass threaded inserts into the casing that would accept M3 bolts. The heating element I chose for this nest box is a 7 watt eBay heat mat. It doesn't get very hot, but just enough to reach the temperature I need. But any other low wattage heating would also work for this nest box. Another hole was drilled in the tub so that it allows the thermostat sensor and wire for the heat mat to go through. The source of power for this nest box comes from this IEC panel socket, which will be plugged in later. I wired everything up, bringing power to the thermostat and the heat mat, and also connected the temperature sensor to the thermostat too. Once everything was wired, I attached the electrical casing to the main tub with some M3 bolts. To gently and evenly distribute the heat from the heat mat to the entire bottom of the nest box, I cut up some 1.5mm thick aluminium sheet to the right size and rounded the corners to the shape of the tub so it would fit nicely. A piece of styrofoam was also cut to size to go beneath the aluminium sheet, so most of the heat will be directed upwards. The exposed wiring of the heat mat was insulated with some insulation tape, and a small hole was drilled to allow the cable to pass through, then get beneath the aluminium. The heat mat was adhered to the aluminium sheet using aluminium tape. This ensures that there is plenty of contact between the two parts for good heat transfer. Once everything was in place, I siliconed the aluminium plate into place. The lid of the nest box was made out of 12mm thick foam ply that I had left over from building enclosures. I followed a similar step as preparing the aluminium sheet earlier. Once it was cut to size, 
A hole was drilled at the end of the lid for the lizards to go in and out. Just to make things nicer, I printed a plastic flange to neaten up the hole I drilled and welded the two parts together using a soldering iron. The nest box is now ready to be plugged in and used. It works just as well as my previous nest box, but now I can easily adjust the temperature, turn the heating on and off, and even take the nest box out from the enclosure as required. The nest box holds temperatures very well, keeping the substrate at the bottom of the nest box in the mid to high 20s. On the same day that I set these nest boxes up, one of my Scalaris female actually laid a fertile clutch of eggs in there, so it's safe to say that my nest boxes work well.